Hey everyone, I just filmed my May empty, so if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. And I decided that I'm going to go ahead and be done with my Project 20 pan. So I still haven't gotten my videos re-uploaded. I've been talking to Style Hall, I've been talking to some other people who unfortunately had the same thing happen to, and there's still kind of this, you know, waiting game and everything like that. So in case I'm not able to have those re-uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and just call this Project Pan done, and I'm going to start a new Project Pan video. I think I'm going to do a Project 10 pan, all MAC products. I think that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to go over all of the products that I had my Project 20 pan. I'm going to let you guys know the five products that I finished up in the last few weeks since my last update, if you were able to see that. The five products that I was not able to finish and just kind of have this be a little overview and finale video. So the five products that I used up in the last couple weeks, um, the first one was my Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin. This I used basically Basically every single day as a primer blush. I would put this over my cheeks. This is fantastic with the e.l.f. small stipple brush. It goes on beautifully. It's a nice just light peachy color. I really liked the formula. I thought it blended into the skin very well. I finally finished up my Julep Quick Dry Polish Drops. This was with uh, Vitamin E and Lavender. Love this. I just think that it made my manicures look so much better, shinier, just kind of more healthy looking, stronger and I just adored them. So I'm either gonna repurchase these again or I'm gonna try out some other brands. I got some cool suggestions from people here in my comments in my last video and see what I can find here. But I loved this. I thought it was a great concept and it really did dry quickly. So finish those up. I finally finished up my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum in uh, the gel foundation in light vanilla. Loved this foundation, thought it was fantastic. Um, if you, you know, pump it out, nothing else comes out. I tried to get most of it out and then the top broke. So <laughs> it's a goner now. Unfortunately, I won't be able to repurchase this, but I've got a fabulous friend here on YouTube and eventually we might do like a swap or something like that so I can get another one of these foundations because it was beautiful, great color match. It just glided on like a dream, blended out really nice and just was a beautiful, foundation so if you can get your hands on that I totally suggest it um, I used up my lip liner this was the Rimmel lip liner in mauve shimmer it was amazing we'll totally repurchase it I I can't tell well, actually the the lid of its breaking but if I hold it up to the light I think that the actual product is like right here in there. Um, I sharpened up to the last bit and then I put it in there for storing and it got shoved all the way up in there so it's impossible to get out. There might have been like one more application on the actual tip of it but beautiful color. Definitely kind of the whole, um, what is it, Kylie Jenner 90s look. Beautiful mauve color. It was very flattering. I loved wearing it every single day by itself or over um, underneath other lip colors. Totally suggest it. We'll be repurchasing it ASAP. Um, I finally used up my Urban Decay Zero Pencil. It's sharpened all the way up to the top and then it's blunted at the end. Couldn't get anything else. Um, not going to repurchase this. Uh, not a fan of the... Urban Decay eyeliners. Didn't love the pigmentation of this. I thought that it wore down really quickly. I have a couple more of the Urban Decay eyeliners that I want to get through um, and then won't repurchase any more in the future unless they come up with a new formula or something like that. Products that I used up in the previous five months, I'll go ahead and just run through them if you're new to my channel. The first was this NYX Photo Loving Primer in the Anti Redness. This is a green primer. I thought it was a great primer. It was really nice. Um, it had a kind of a little bit more of the silicone type of texture to it. It was really nice at like filling any fine lines up. Great kind of primer for all of the rest of your foundation needs. And it kept your makeup on really well. I think that it's a drugstore purchase, so it's affordable. Um, I'm always all about that. NYX is a great brand. And all in all, I think that I would repurchase this. They have a few different colors, so I would maybe try it out. I definitely suggest it. I had the Smashbox Pink Sugar Lip Gloss. 
loved this. This I got the very last amount of there. I took the stopper out so I could get every last drop and everything else is just kind of the rest of the residue since it's been sitting out here. This has a beautiful texture. It's so creamy on your lips. It has a beautiful just kind of light pink shine to it. It felt so comfortable and it almost felt like it was kind of moisturizing my lips. I will totally be looking at more of the Smashbox uh, lip glosses now that I tried this one. So good, so good, totally suggest it. I had the Laura Geller Waterproof Eye Spackle. This was in Fair Slash Light. Had a really cool applicator. It was just one of those ones where you twist up. I really liked that because then you're not having to worry too much about putting like your fingers into like a pot or anything like that. This was beautiful. It was almost kind of like a Max Painterly Paint Pot just because it really helped to cancel out all of the, you know, redness or blue or veininess on your eyelids. Had a great texture. It was a little bit thicker, which I prefer. Another product that I was really bummed when I used it all up was the Collection 2000 Fair One Concealer. This is another product, again, that you can't get in the U.S., but it is gorgeous. It had a beautiful creamy texture, blended out so well, looked very natural, didn't look cakey or anything like that because it was a little bit of a thinner kind of texture, so it was just so beautiful. We'll totally get my hands on this again if I can. Two um, kind of nail polish products that I used up. This was the Julep Maven Nail Therapy and the Top Coat, the Fast Dry Top Coat. These, um, if you see on there, have a little bit of product still left in there, but they have totally kind of congealed into like a completely unusable product. It's almost like super glue at this point. I tried putting nail thinner in there, but it's just gone. I think, you know, I had some comments say something about like the heat, storing them in like a uh, refrigerator for a little bit to try to revive them. Didn't really help. I think these were <laughs> too far gone, um, but great suggestions for the future. And then also just getting to the bottom of the barrel, you kind of just, you're textures begin to change and all that kind of stuff. So I would repurchase these in the future, probably more the top coat than the nail therapy, um, but they were great products. I mean, Julep Maven is fantastic. The next product is this eyeliner. This was the Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner by Elizabeth Mott, and it was in the color Glitterati. And this was a black liquid eyeliner with a ton of silver glitter in it and that was what the wand was. It was very nice and kind of short and thin so it was easy to apply and control. Um, this was great. I probably wouldn't pick it for my everyday eyeliner just because there was a lot of glitter. It wasn't something so much that you could see um, very visibly but if you looked really up close you could tell and it just didn't have that rich really dark pigmented black eyeliner that you may want to look for. This I used fairly quickly in the project pan. It was the Corez uh, Strawberry Lip Gloss and it had this kind of cool cooling like silver ball on the top of the applicator. Don't know if you saw that. Um, had a kind of honey scent to it and it was kind of nice to have that cooling sensation when you were putting it on. Didn't have too much color to it. Um, I don't think I would repurchase it just because, I think because of the cooling ball really, it did tend to kind of dry up around the edges and so when you would apply it there would be a lot of kind of like clumps and you'd have to really blend that into the lips and so it was kind of a process. Nothing too big um, but you know, I don't want to go through a bunch of added steps <laughs> to put on lip gloss. So wouldn't repurchase it, but it was a fun little kind of fun product to try out with the cooling balls. Next, I have this EOS in Tangerine. I am not a huge fan of the EOS products. Um, I think that they're a little too waxy, uh, tend to kind of dry out my lips a little bit more. I love, obviously, the packaging is so cute and the, the fact that it's just a little dome and so easy to apply. That is just genius. Um, this tangerine one, though, which is the medicated version, is awesome. I thought it had a thinner texture to it. it really did moisturize my lips. I love the scent of it. Um, so I would repurchase the tangerine one or if there's any other medicated versions out there. Next we have the ColourPop um, eyeshadow. This was in Truth. Amazing. These eyeshadows are awesome. Um, I still think that my ColourPop video is uh, still up so I will link that down below if you haven't seen it. Um, I love the eyeshadows. 
I was a little naughty and just did a huge ColourPop order because I've been craving trying out the highlighters and the blushes and the bronzers and of course some more of the eyeshadows. So I will definitely do a haul and review on that just because I think that those are so fun to watch. Um, but this in truth was a nice just kind of mid-tone brown. It was almost a little taupey actually, very cool toned. Um, and it was a beautiful base. It was beautifully blended into your crease. It was almost kind of like a, is it a satin? I know it wasn't a matte, but I think it was a satin formula. Um, and I will totally repurchase this color. I didn't in that order just because I wanted to try out some other ones, but it's definitely going on my list to repurchase because it was so pretty. Now to the five products that I didn't finish. One I'm surprised about and the other ones I'm not surprised about. Um, so first off, I thought I would be done with this, but it's still ongoing. It's the NYX Cottage Cheese Chubby Stick. Um, I probably have about maybe two or three more sharpens left to go, or maybe not even. It's getting kind of hard still to sharpen now, but there's still some product there on the top, so I will be finishing up this. I'm going to continue to have it in my collection because it is great um, for my Urban Decay Pan That Palette. So I will use this up, and I'm going to still have it in the rotation so I can use it up fairly quickly. The Rimmel Nude Eyeliner, I didn't think that I was going to use up, and I didn't. I actually used it today um, as a base, and I put an eyeshadow over it, and it isn't creasing all that much, actually, so far. So maybe I found a way to use this. I also do love it in the waterline. It's so great at brightening up your eyes in the waterline. So still love this eyeliner, just wasn't able to use it up in this project pan. We all know if you've been watching my updates that there was no way that I was going to hit pan or use up my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It still is going strong. There is quite a bit of pan on the outer edges, so it has definitely gotten lower, um, but nowhere near to my knowledge of hitting pan anytime soon. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break from this bronzer just because I think in this next project pan I'm going to do all MAC products. Um, but I will continue to use it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful product, um, and I love just using it to warm up my face, and there's a ton of product in there, so if you want your money's worth, check out the Too Faced bronzers. The Stila One Step and Kitten, I still have, you know, what is that, like a third of the tube left. This is a beautiful highlighter. It's a cream highlighter. Um, I don't like it as a lip color. Not a cute look. Not a fan of it as an eyeshadow look. Just wasn't feeling it. So I will continue using it. I do want to use some other my highlighters though. So I'm kind of over this for a little bit. So I'll revisit it in a couple months. And then last but not least is this MAC lipstick in... I always forget it. What is it? Oh yes, over time. And... This is how much I have left of it. Probably will add it into my project 10 pan with MAC products. Those are my 20 products that was in my project 20 pan. Thank you guys again for all of your support during all of these project pans. It has just been so helpful and needed and I love watching your guys' project pan videos of all the different arrangements there is. So look forward to the next project pan video very soon and I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!